Hey guys, Claude Johnson here from GuitarControl.com with another easy guitar lesson. And it, uh, today I want to talk about learning triad voicings across the neck. So a triad is a three note chord, all right? So um, three note chord like a major chord or a minor chord. So for example, let's say I'm playing the jam in A major, let's say I'm playing like A to D. I get bored of this A chord over and over, I could shift up to here. You hear how that has a different sound? So the reason why we use different voicings or different versions of that chord across the neck are number one, to change up the sound, okay? Number two, it's easier not to jump all over the place if I'm you know, playing already on the fifth position. I can just go there to the A uh, instead of moving. And then also if I'm playing chord melody, and I want to play an A chord there, I can hit that note and the chord at the same time. So, really good to know. Um, and I showed you the example, you know, instead of this, you can play this. So it's good to know all over the neck and what you can do is group the neck in, in groups of three strings. So you have your lowest three strings, and you have the next three strings, A, D, and G. Then you have another group, G, D, and B. And then you have your high strings, your G, B, and E. So each of those groups is like what I call a chord family, okay? And you can create uh, different versions or inversions, inversions, okay? of the chord. So let's take A major, okay, which has the notes A, C sharp, and E. Um, so what you can do, this is really root, third, fifth. So that forms a certain shape with the root of the low string. So you can move that up and get any chord, like D major. All right? And to find the first inversion of that, instead of playing root, third, fifth, you play third, fifth, root, okay? So, and then the next inversion, it's fifth, root, third. It's the same order, but you're just starting in a different place. So it wraps around from fifth, back to root, and then third. Okay, same shapes apply in the next three strings. Then it changes, here's the shapes. If you check the link in the video description, I'll give you the, the chord shapes for all these and the tabs. And the top three strings. Okay, so helpful to know that. Um, yeah, and, and you can also connect them too. So for example, like this. If you have that and you have this, now you have a four note chord. So it's good to see kind of how it all ties together. So inside uh, Killer Guitar Control Secrets, which is a DVD course uh, that I created, um, I, I go deeper into like how to use some of these different chord families and triad inversions and voicings in some cool musical ways. So you can check that out. Uh, it's at guitarcontrol.com secrets. All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.